Hello and welcome back to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. I'm Bell Kubel. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And I am at the helm and we're playing Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, I took a nap and gathered a couple of supplies since the last time we played. I am going to get my mean to cringe on, have a little snack. There chew we on go. Bears. Just chew on some nom, berries. Nom, nom. Are they for birds? Are they for people? Doesn't matter. Grab I'm crafting jam. I'm making nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> My saliva helps the pectin activate. <laughs> thanks for helping, or thanks for finding new friends to come and live in our city, Grapple. Roller must be a really clever man. Silly people don't have beards as bushy as that. <laughs> Hippo, I have so many goddamn questions. <laughs> now that more people are moving in, we're going to need more beds for everyone to sleep on. Poor old Rolo shouldn't have to sleep on the floor. I'll get his beard dirty. Oh, his beard we is already sleep dirty. on the floor. <laughs> we sleep. I have to point out. Pips. Pips. Nope. You sleep on a straw mat on the floor. Mm -hmm. That's true. A straw mat or a pile of leaves. He is just huddled inside the workroom. There's there's no room for me in the room, so I'm just gonna Grab hide out in your workroom. I do not mean to cast doubt on your claims, but was it truly you who constructed these buildings? I mean, there's only two of them. And oh, let's get it. Let's get. Yeah. He kind of Hello, reminds me Hercule of Hercule Satan. I was gonna say he reminds me of Hercule <laughs> from Dragon Ball Z, which I mean, Akira Toriyama's design is very prominent. His hand on this. If that were true, it would mean that you have the power to build new things—a gift that mankind lost so long ago. Yeah. <laughs> Could it be that you are the builder of whom the Cantilan Chronicle speaks, the legendary figure blessed with the power of construction? Bah, of course not. If the Builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. Maybe you oh, get should. ready to eat your beard. Ah, yes, Grapple. I nearly forgot it. The path across the mountains between this town and the place where you and I first met was dreadfully treacherous, wasn't it? I went I mean, around. Was a well, the Cantlin Chronicle describes a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of the chimeras that dwell amid those mountains. Ah. A most convenient contrivance that lets you travel at blinding speed and be back at your base in the blink of an eye. I know God told me, like last episode. <laughs> of course, if you truly were the builder of legend, I'm sure you would have no trouble creating this item myth and showing it to me. Oh my God. You make... Grapple, my child. You need only to lay your hands upon a new material to discern what items may be built from it. The chimera, uh, chimeras you seek dwell at the foot of the mountains, fast by this place. What? God? <laughs> what? Use your compass to find them, that you might not lose your way. Alright, God. I'm not doing this because you told me to. I'm doing it because God told me to. Whatever floats your boat. Alright, right. I'm gonna build him a bed in the slime pit. I'm gonna take a bunch of slimes, I'm gonna put them in the pit with him. <laughs> Just kite the slimes into a pit with the bed in it. Yeah, I think that's I think that's sort of what my construction vision is. But he'll get his beard dirty. Um he's more likely to have his beard purified by the uh <laughs> It'll make his beard flammable. <laughs> uh Okay. Oh, I could have just cut across these mountains, but I didn't. No, we went the long way around. Die, it did vulture. keep you safe from these, though. This may be quicker, but you do have to fight yeah. bigger monsters and stuff. Yeah, and I'd need to get another two feathers from these guys. Uh, to make to the chimera wing? To make the wing, yeah. But luckily, there are a few. This game is so good at consistency and intentionality like um, one of the things that sometimes made Minecraft just incomprehensible it was um, how random it was yeah yeah like you never knew what was gonna be anywhere right it, it, it had it did have a sort of randomized world feel to it yeah which is part of the reason um, I think that I think procedurally generated is the buzzword of the day back yeah then. yeah um, but I love the intention the intention that this was made with. Um, yeah. There's all kinds of cute, clever things to come across, and uh, let's see. 
that pretty much... Oh, there's a poisony bog over there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think if we step into that water that we get a... Poisoned? Get poisoned. Hmm. Um, and there's some interesting... dark ma place. ...materials out there. Yeah, that that one belongs to Scar. We gotta go back to uh, <laughs> Mufasa the pr the land. The Pride Lands. The Pride Land. Boy, he's just having a good time. <laughs> Thought you decided to mash into him. I played so much uh, Player Knowns Battlegrounds lately. I keep like being like, yeah, I should probably launch myself off of here. I can just glide down over there. It'll be fine. <laughs> but falling damage is a thing. Falling damage is very much a thing. Uh, and from the top of the mountain, we can see the little town. We can also see where we came out of. Ooh, what's uh, this? This it is, has a door. Yeah, this is what we we came out of in the very beginning. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, just about nighttime, which is when scary things come out. So I'll try to avoid that. That's probably for the best. All right, we need to make Rolo a bedroom, and we need to craft a chimera wing. Oh, so you can get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> okay. I like to think it's a big feather fan, and you're basically just gonna smack him upside the face so that it can go. Ah! See, I made a thing. There you go. Oh, we're so close Got together. Got a boat. This is a chimera wing. It is just as the Cantalin Chronicle describes. Then there is no doubt about it. Within you dwells the long lost power of construction. Oh, please don't talk really about the insides. Building. Just. <laughs> Not that. Ever since the light was lost to us and the realm plunged into darkness, the people of Alfgard oh, have oh. waited for this day to come. The day that benevolent Rubus would send the builder to save us. I don't know about Rubus, but God talk all. God! <laughs> Grapple, <laughs> my child! <laughs> You needed only to touch a chimera's feather to know what you could build from it. I did that last episode, as I pointed out. Seek more materials and speak to those around you, and your knowledge is sure to expand even further. Keep a keen eye on your surroundings, my child. I am, and it's his man, and he's in my face. <laughs> he's just so close. <laughs> if you should see anything that you have never seen before, be sure to collect it. Grapple, my friend. Uh, you and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. Why don't I like the use of you and I together? <laughs> Firstly, we must complete the glorious restoration of the once great city of Cantlin. Okay. And secondly, we must unravel the mystery of the terrible tragedy brought upon the town that, that brought the town to ruin. God told me, but I was not listening. <laughs> this place was once girded all about by fearsome fortifications. Tall turrets and towers to keep the monsters at bay. It is even said that a great golem once watched over the city, keeping all inside safe from harm. Pretty sure he stomped this place flat, but go on. Oh, he was, he was in the first game. But those citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated, and nothing remains of Cantlin but ruins. How could such a wretched fate have come to pass? As a proud son of Cantlin, I plan to uncover the mystery of what befell my ill-starred ancestors. No doubt that with your powers and my book, it is only a matter of time before the truth becomes clear. We're all counting on you, Grapple. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, we're so close for this laughter to be happening. Very proximal. Thank you. I like that you roll low with laughter. She's gonna <coughs> come out of the screen and fight you. <laughs> okay, well, I built him what he wants. Uh, I'll build his, uh, oh, perfect. Here's, here's a perfect bedroom for strange men. Nope. Yep. Huh. Ah. You can get a high class <laughs> rock for him. Oh, you need see. a door. I need a door and I need a light. That's the save point, not the craft table. All right. I really got a bonfire, so you're good there. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna just use a torch, I think, for his room. Hmm. Put that away. Put that away. Probably don't need that crate. 
So you can't just stick that anywhere. I'm gonna stick that box in there just to sort of complete the storeroom yeah, aesthetic. Yeah, <laughs> make sure he knows kind of what his his place is in in town. Okay. You're not gonna collect that flower. Good call. Well, I I don't know. He's such a a lonely man. Can I? Yeah, that's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No. Nope. That reminds me of The Sims when you get the the starts a fire three thousand oven. Oh god. There you go. All right, you monster. Wait, is he in my bed? Yes. Oh <laughs> no 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 not like this. <laughs> okay. What did you do? took out the bed so that he had to go <laughs> away. God, I'm just picturing you literally pulling that rug <laughs> out from under him. <laughs> well, in fairness, his room isn't a bedroom yet. He doesn't know he can sleep there. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> you need another straw mat for reasons. Alright. Okay. Uh, what would you like, Pips? Oh, let's see. Oh, Pip this... a long stocking. Oh. Just All one. of this building and inventing is hungry work. So I've been thinking, if we had something to cook with, we could make all sorts of delicious, nutritious meals. What do you say? Can you think of something you could cook, you could build to cook things on? Teach us how to build a sandwich. S sand, <laughs> sandwich. You, you, you stack the layers. First, you put dirt. Okay. If you think of anything, put it in a room with a chest so that we can store the delicious dishes we make. So, yeah, make us a room to cook in. And I'm thinking... You have a plan. Ha-ha! <laughs> a cook fire. Ooh. Okay. Oop. Oh. Okay, I need to build a... Another bed. I need to build another chest. A cook fire? Um, yeah, I need to build a cook fire. There we go. Okay. And I need to build a room for it to be in. Um... Let's say what shape do we want our, our fantasy kitchen to be? That's a good call. Uh... Are we gonna have one of those long kitchens, or... One that's a big open floor plan, or... It's just gonna be that, that, uh... Yeah, right in there, that closet. <laughs> It's a cooking closet. The smoke, fire. the smoked meat locker. <laughs> <laughs> the meat locker sounds like a movie from the 2000s that I definitely didn't see. <laughs> okay, you go there. Oh, well, that's much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I was originally gonna make just the the uh, the meat locker, and then I just thought about poor Pips and the fumes, and I felt kind of bad, so. Okay, we have that. We have. Let's see. I was gonna say, you put the chest in the back corner there, yeah. A chest there. Uh, I need a door. So I need to put another bed. He's, he probably needs a double wide. For his beard. For his beard. <laughs> and you just saw that our points rose for a. Uh... Adding the extra item in the room. Right. It's a nicer room now. Um, so I just need to add a light source. And a door, which I forgot to make. Which I will do now. Yeah, so a lot of this game is just making filling out all these requests for your for your villagers. Um I'll probably do some of them off screen, but just just for the sheer number that there are. Um yeah! Hooray! A crude kitchen. But now we're getting a feel for uh, what the what the villagers villagers are like, what their vibe yeah. is. Okay. Would you look at that? Blimey, you did it! You made me a place to cook! Now I'll be able to make all sorts of scrummy food. Thanks, Grapple! I misread that as Grandpa, and it took me a second. I can't tell if scrummy is good or not. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> and that chest is perfect! 
if I make anything really, really, really tasty, I'll put it in I'm gonna put it, put in, it in this wood box so you can eat it days later. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, it's like it's like the process for cheese making. Uh, using certain types of wood barrels help stave off uh, bacterial growth. Oh, that's true. That is true. Thanks for finding new friends to come and live in our city, Grapple. Rolo must be a really clever... Oh, no, we don't need to go through this again. <laughs> I got... I made him a bed. What do you want, you monster? <laughs> well, well, well. By my bulbous belly, it seems we have a kitchen now. You use so many words I don't like. <laughs> this creative powers of yours is a wonderful thing. I wonder if your culinary skills are equally exemplary. Probably not. Can you build a parfait? <laughs> I am just picking foods that are layers of things. Just because <laughs> I'm picturing food stacks being food squares stack of on... food. Can you make a sleeve of Girl Scout cookies? <laughs> what? Make it yourself? I can't do that. He doesn't have the power of the builder! You'll build a whole kitchen for Pippa, but you won't even make me a single measly meal? I mean, basically, yes. <laughs> Grapple, you wound me. Not yet. I thought we were friends. Not yet. <laughs> By the way, I should mention that I saw some delicious-looking orange mush mushrooms growing down by the water's edge. Oh, I had those in my pockets for four days. <laughs> Gotta be goody. I'm sure you can make a terrific meal out of a fine ingredient like that. Three servings should do the trick. Do we have an agreement, friend? I'm assuming that this... he's talking about three servings so that you can all eat dinner together, and not that he just wants to gorge himself on mushrooms. I but... trust this man as far as I could throw him, and there's no mechanic for that. Okay. No, he's, he seems like a friend. Shrooms on a stick. Yeah. Yeah, so there is a cooking mechanic. Um, cooking things gives different benefits, restores your hearts and he your health. It. Oh, he guy, he just <laughs> found me. He ran over as soon as you built Grapple, the third one. my friend, do I detect the succulent scent of freshly roasted mushrooms? No. The fragrance alone is a mellow melody of mouth-watering flavors. Um. By my growing gizzard. Growling. Growling yeah. gizzard. Gonna be growing in a second. <laughs> These shall make a magnificent meal. Oh my god, you use so many words and they are all unappetizing. <laughs> Come now, hand them over. Quick, quick, quick. Wait, he's gonna eat all of them? Mm. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is the ASMR I never asked for. <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous work, Grapple. We shall have to rename you to the cooker. <laughs> I am the builder. Let's make one thing clear. The builder. The builder. <laughs> uh. The Cantalin Chronicle covers a wide range of topics. The chapters concerning the preparation of hearty, healthy meals are of particular. P pardon? You want to see it yourself? The Cantalin Chronicle, with your own two eyes. I am curious where you've been keeping it. I'm sorry, In Grapple. Beard. <laughs> In but beard. that book is a priceless family heirloom. I can't just go parading it around in front of anyone that asks. Okay, I'll reclassify you as a monster, and then I will get materials from you. <laughs> beard. And besides, the tone is written in an ancient and cryptic script. <laughs> There's no way that you or anyone else would be able to read it. What little knowledge I myself have gleaned from it has taken years of painstaking study. However, I'm not a, I have not a single doubt that this book holds the key to restoring the city to its former, former greatness. Hey, give me the book. I shall not rest until I have deciphered each and every one of its secrets. Well, then I guess I don't need to build that bedroom for you. <laughs> but fear my not, bedroom. my friend. I will not keep those secrets to myself. As soon as I make a breakthrough in my studies, you will be the first to know. So he's worried about keeping his job. <laughs> and as for these mushrooms, it is only fair that you should taste the fruits of your labors too. Here, take this as a token of our everlasting friendship. See? Friend! Oh, that thing that I just made. Thanks. He did eat two of them, though. Alright, hey Pips, you need a snack? What do you want? Boy, he wants that third one back. <laughs> what, have I 
finished reading that book yet? Now is... Yes, my question! <laughs> Learn some patience, young lady. I made it quite clear that you would be the first to know of any <laughs> secrets that Again, I discover. I'm happy to reclassify you as a monster and relieve you of your materials. <laughs> Deciphering the Cantalin Chronicle will take time, Grapple, and our work on restoring the city has only just begun. I suggest that we while I continue rooms. my studies, you labor to rebuild this city to its former greatness and prove yourself the builder you claim to be. By completing rooms and placing them within the items you create, you can increase the level of your base. But be wary that you do not place your decorations more than two blocks above the floor, for such items will not count towards your points total. Thanks, God. <laughs> now go, my child. <laughs> Fill your town with buildings, and those buildings with furnishings, and those furnished things with knickknacks, like those little porcelain babies, and see your new home flourish. Grapple, <laughs> pay attention. Now, can you think Talking of anything we could use to decorate all these new rooms you're about to build? I've discovered how to build precious moments figurines! <laughs> Funko Pops. Or f Funko, Funko Pops, Pops as far as the eye can see. Oh, God, they already scare me when I come downstairs. <laughs> Sweet little babies. <laughs> oh, my God, Linda's song. Okay, um... Alright, so I'm gonna be, uh, sprucing up this place for a... Uh, Making it into a real little town, maybe building some more bedrooms and, and whatnot. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoy this. Uh, and if you have other terrible fruit hybrids that I should play, uh, let me know. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye! I could just remove the door.